Welcome to The Pulse, live from Bloomberg's European headquarters here in London. I'm Francine Lacqua. Now let's get straight out to Guy Johnson. He's live from ICAP headquarters with a very exclusive interview. It's with the company's CEO. And they'll be talking, of course, UK Brexit and the Charity Day. Guy, over to you. Thank you very much indeed, Francine. Yeah, welcome to ICAP's 23rd charity day. They've raised 120 million over the last 23 years. Last year, it was 8 million. It is a colorful affair. I feel massively, massively underdressed. The good news is that Michael Spencer is also in his suit. Good morning to you, Michael. Hi, guys. Thank you for inviting us. Um, so, 8 million last year, 120 over the course of when you've been 120 million pounds. 120 million pounds. Just for American, many American We'll get the currency right. We can 180 million US dollars in total oh, since we started 23 years ago. At the market, because it's kind of slightly market dependent, isn't it, on how much you raise. So, so your sense of this year? Sounds busy here. It does so, sound, yeah. sound busy here, but do you yeah, think the you'll, you'll go over the 8 billion? Well, uh, listen, I don't control that, um, yeah. but our clients support us very generously. They always have done. Yeah. Um, we are in the lap of the, whatever it is, yeah. um, uh, the markets generally. But uh, sounds like a good start to the day. Excellent. And let's hope it continues like this all day. Uh, in some ways, a slightly sad occasion, as much as you are changing the nature of your business. You're going electronic. Yeah. The, the colour may be changing a little bit next year. Is, is it going to be here next year? What's happening? Well, I, the Charity Day will definitely continue because, as you know, we agreed, announced last month that we are selling our entire global voice-breaking business, which includes, incidentally, all of these five boys and girls here working yep. very hard today. All of these 2,700 staff are being sold to one of our competitors, Talit Prebon. We will remain a very, very big shareholder in the business, but yep. nevertheless, uh, the brand name will change. It'll be TPI Cap. The chief executive of Talit Prebon, um, early in our negotiations, I said to him, you know, charity day is very important to me, and he said, to his credit, he said it'd be his honour and his privilege to continue with charity day. So it will continue. Actually, it'll get much bigger, because Talit Prebon is roughly the same size as the ICAP voice breaking business. So Charity Day will be twice as large right. next year, but it will not one. sadly have me as CEO. It'll have uh, John Fazakli, who'll do a brilliant job. I will be running the electronic businesses yep. then. So when people come to see Charity Day, where I will be, we'll go over to a computer and <laughs> listen to <it> whirring <laughs> listen away to, and say, busy day going on there, chaps. But it won't be the same atmosphere, and I will miss it. Of course I will. You know, this is something we started in 1993 when the firm was was literally a hundred odd people. It was a yeah. tiny uh, idea then. It was an idea and, and, and it worked then and it's continued to work every year in every single one of our offices around the world. So we're obviously in London, but later yep. today in New York, they'll be doing the same thing in fancy dress as well by tradition and in Sao Paulo and Rio. And I'm sure, Bonner, there's, a, I'm sure there's been a competition amongst the guys to, to come up with the best outfits. And girls. They're very and girls. And guys viewers. and girls. I, yeah, I can see one behind you. <laughs> She's smiling at me now. Um, let's talk a little bit. It has been an incredible incredible year for your business. It's been an incredible year for the entire sector. So much change has happened. And your sense is that we're coming to the end of this phase, or do you think yes. actually there's still more gyration still to come? Uh, for several years now, I've said that the global voice-breaking business, which is where I started my career, um, we're setting up ICAP in, yep. next year will be 30 years since we started, in 19, 1986. Um, we started with four people, literally, and grew the business to now nearly 5,000. I've said for several years there's overcapacity globally in the interdealer voice-breaking space, and really there should be three global firms. Well, the merger of Talit Prebon following earlier this year, the merger between BGC and GFI will mean that there are now three global broking firms, voice broking firms, of which the TPI cap yep. merger will be the clear largest. Um, but I, I, so I think consolidation in our space, or oh, that space, is over. The technology part of the business, which I will continue to run, as yet unnamed, by the way, and yep. we're, we are, and no we have, well, no, we haven't decided genuinely, and I'm running a competition. Anybody who comes up for a, a name for the new New ICAP, a case yeah. of very fine claret, uh, <laughs> and I'm a collector of claret, yeah, so, so you can be very assured it'll be proper stuff, a very, case of very fine a red wine yeah. from France, Bordeaux will be their gift in return for... Probably cheaper than paying a branding company. Um, and more fun, and more, <laughs> yeah. So any of you out there got any good ideas, email me, michael.spencer at icap.com with your ideas, and if you win, a case of very fine claret. 
OK. And you think... I, I, I was about to say, I'm sure, I'm sure I've got a few ideas in the back of my head. Um, when you look at that consolidation, you say you're not done. Can you, can, can you just flesh that out a little bit for me? I can, could you ever see you hooking up in, in ICAP Newco? Let's call it that. That's really unoriginal uh, for the time being. Um, with, with ICE or LSE? Or, well, where, where, where does it go? The, the, the whilst we were building our voice-breaking business, 15 years ago, ICAP started to build its technology asset with the purchase originally of Brokertech, then EDS in fixed income and foreign exchange, and then also Trioct and some trade processing businesses. And we invested over a billion pounds over those businesses. They're now worth several times that. Yep. There is an enormous amount of change in the yep. technology parts of the business, which is where I'm going to focus my time and effort. And there is a lot going on. So I'm not looking, certainly not to sell the business. I'm going to grow it organically and through acquisition, and it'll be a lot of fun and very exciting. It just won't be as noisy as this. <laughs> That's a shame. Let me ask you a couple of quick questions. First of all, is the market ready for the Fed? Yes. I think um, the Fed next um, has to raise rates. If they don't do it now, what are they ever going to do? I think the backdrop is as good as it can get. The markets look pretty stable. They're anticipating it. They should get it over, get it done now. Let's take up rates off zero finally. Which way does oil go from here? I think it still goes down. I think it's a combination of issues. I think the Chinese economy is continue, going to continue to underperform. Um, and that will affect not just oil, but other commodities as well. Obviously, the oil situation as well has the fact that next year we're expecting Iran to come on stream. Yep. Saudi Arabia is continuing to pump aggressively. A fracking um, yep. will make a change in the supply demand. The U.S. is going to become a net exporter. I, I, I can see oil going down below 30 bucks. One last quick question. Sneak one in. Have you made up your mind as to whether or not your business will be better off in or out of the EU? We're a global firm, in fairness, so we have offices in 64 countries around the world yep. um, and a very big presence, obviously, in New York. So New York and London are pretty similar. London is London and New York are the, the hubs. Um, on balance, I think, actually, the business will be better off if we stay in Europe. Yep. But I personally haven't made my mind up as to what, uh, which way I'm going to vote next year. Michael, thank you very much indeed for inviting us. I hope the day goes really, really well. I hope the targets that you're hoping for in the back of your head get matched. Michael Spencer, the CEO of ICAP. ICAP for now. Maybe we should be thinking about that new name. Francine, back over to you.